Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have given you a brief introduction of HTML and CSS and I have also shown you how to install this Notepad++ editor for writing your uh, HTML code. In this video, I will show you how to write your first HTML code in this Notepad++. So the first thing you need to do is to create a HTML file. So how you can do it, you can do it by clicking this new button from here or by going to the file and clicking this new from here. And then what you need to do is just go to file once again, just select this tab for the new file and go to file once again and save as, click this save as and it will open a new file saving wizard so for making your html file it's better to make a separate folder for saving these html files because uh, this web pages have to show the the pictures and other stuff so it's better to save all the html document files in a same folder so i made a folder called web and in that I'm going to save my file. So I will name my file as index. So this index, it's a common convention to m write your main HTML file as index file. So it's better to give the name of this file as index and then you don't want to save it as text file so you just click this save as type and select this hypertext markup language so it will save your file as a html page and now just click save so it will be saved in the folder when you go to the folder in which you have saved your file it looks like this so it already has taken the symbol of the default browser file okay now we will write our first program so for writing the first program you need to write this line this first line shows the browser that it's a html file so doc type means document type and HTML shows that it's a HTML file. So every HTML file start with this declaration. Now what you do next is you make uh, this uh, less than and greater than sign and inside this you write HTML. Okay. So this and once again HTML and this time with a slash okay so this shows that this is a web page this is a these and this is called tags so this one is called starting tag and this slash HTML is called ending tag and inside this tag you write your web page information now your web page is made up of basically two areas one is called once again head and when you open any tag you need to close that tag too like we have done in html so opening is like simple name and when you close this tag you just add this slash to close that tag so your html page is basically made of this head in which your heading comes and the second thing is the body body tag okay not bobby but body yeah so you need to close this tag also by this slash so this comprises of a web page this heading takes your title your search information and basically what you can see in the 
head of your web browser and this is the main page of your website so for example let's give some title to your website or web page so write this greater than less than and give title and when you open this title you need to close it also so just give slash symbol and these tags you can write in a same line also like this or on different line it it doesn't matter if you write on the same line or different line okay and in here whatever you write will be the right uh, the title of your web page so for example my title web and now what you need to do is you need every time you make addition or in your code you need to save this file okay and now you want to run this file so go here in run in the menu bar this run and it will show you your default running option it can open your web page in firefox internet explorer chrome or safari or whatever browser you have so for example i want to open my web page from firefox so i click this launch in firefox and it opens my web page you see as i already told you this is the body of your html files which doesn't contain anything but you can see the title now here my title web so this is the title information which you have already created right now we will add the body to our webs web page so go inside this body start and end and in here you will write the body of the web page so for example you want to show some heading in your body so write once again greater than less than and write h1 h h stand for heading and if you open the heading then you need to close it so you can give heading up to six sizes and h1 is the biggest size of the heading and inside this i write hi youtube for example and once again i save the file so h1 is the biggest so you will see the bi biggest heading so right save this file and go to the br browser and just refresh this page once again and you can see this heading on your web page so this is the first body part or body uh, writing on the web page you can change the size of this head heading by just changing instead of this h2 h1 you can write h2 or h3 so we have seen h1 is the biggest and h6 is the sm smallest so let's see what how this smallest size will look so write h6 and h6 just save your file and go to run and launch in firefox once again and you see this is the smallest heading size so it's very small so you can choose your heading size from one to six now let's add some more uh, data to our page so now for example i want to add the paragraph to my web page so for adding the paragraphs right greater than and less than sign and you give this p tag to write the paragraph and you start and end once again here like this and inside whatever you write will be the paragraph so for example you write this is the paragraph and just save your 
file once again whenever you edit you need to save and just run your web page and you see a paragraph is here okay so this is the basic body of your HTML page it has the initialization it, the page always starts from this HTML start and end tag it has a heading which can contain your title and other information and it has body which contains your main web page information so in the next video I will show some more code how to add some more functionality to the, this web page so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now